Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and extremely romantic stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. Catherine spotted in a stunning unseen Marilyn Monroe moment at a royal duty, as fans' hearts are melting. Marilyn Monroe moments, huh? Every woman who has ever put on a piece of clothing knows what happened there. You're strolling through the sidewalk, appearing as pretty as you possibly can be, when an unexpected gust breeze comes up and you struggle to keep the waistband in place. It transforms into an unauthorized fly. You realize who completely gets how I feel at the time. Princess Catherine has stabilizers sewed through the hemlines of her clothes and gowns, so she doesn't have a Marilyn Monroe flying a skirt situation. It appears she learnt the tactic from her grandmother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth II, who was previously observed for performing the same. However, before she gets those instructions, there were a few times when Princess Catherine had a Marilyn Monroe experience. Nevertheless, she handled the situation expertly. As a blogger in the fashion industry who has been writing about Princess Catherine's style and fashion choices for over 10 years, I like her and desire to have the opportunity to have a Marilyn Monroe moment such as our lovely princess. Come with me to experience all the Princess Catherine's attire and gorgeous Marilyn Monroe moments. When Princess Catherine was becoming a royal, she practically had a Marilyn Monroe moment from her nine-day trip of Canada alongside Prince William in 2011. The gust of wind blew up her yellow Jenny Packham attire, which meant that she struggled to steady it downward with her right hand. Princess Catherine donned a Jenny Packham design knee-length primrose yellow gown constructed from silky fabric. Princess Catherine previously donned a pink lengthened to the floor gown by the exact same creator to the art gala in June 2011. Catherine accessorized the yellow outfit with a pair of nude L.K. Bennett shoes, Natalie Straw clutch, as well as a Kiki McDonough aquamarine jewelry. On the following day of her official tour to India, the Princess of Wales battled the elements, wearing a cream-colored Amelia Wickstead daytime look. She appeared slim and lovely. During a chilly visit to the country's nationwide battle of remembrance in the city of Mumbai upon the Monday, the Princess of Wales possessed an instantaneous tug of war in the conditions whilst the swingy skirting of her cream-coloured costume became entangled against the wind and the picture recalling the blonde, stunning Marilyn Monroe memorable breezy moment in the movie The Seven Year Itch. Princess Catherine tackled her dressing faux pas with poise, holding her skirt against the wind after supporting her partner with setting down flowers arrangement. The Times of India has become one of the most popular subjects on Twitter at the moment, with users questioning the paper's decision to depict the Princess of Wales unwittingly revealing a broad section of the royal thighs. Sleazy reporting at its finest, commenter Shagun, for his kindness, commented on the reaction of the photo, which was accompanied by a headline that reads Princess Catherine's Marilyn Monroe wonderful moment near the India Gateway. The Princess of Wales's flowy gown blew away as she walked off a plane at Brisbane International Airport in September of 2012. That's the time she got another Marilyn Monroe moment. Considering Catherine's attention to detail in selecting labels because they're suited to the event, it's apt that she picked the Project D London, an organisation operated by a Brit as well as an Australian, for the final phase of her trip for her flight to Tuvalu and Brisbane. The company's name, which debuted in 2010, was born out of an unplanned discussion between two different fashion enthusiasts. The 20th of November 2013, Catherine experienced a Marilyn Monroe impression during when she stooped down to talk to a youngster following an appearance at the non-profit organization Place to Be. The windy conditions and skirts with pleating rarely make a good combination, as Catherine discovered because she exposed a lot of additional lag than she meant to while she was awaiting photographers. Princess Catherine, on the other hand, succeeded to keep her wind-caught dress in place and continued to concentrate on her conversation with the youngsters. On the afternoon of Tuesday in 2020, Princess Catherine had a stunning Marilyn Monroe moment during it while she was attending a kid's hospital in the United Kingdom. 
the princess's Dolce & Gabbana skirt became entangled by a blast of wind and flung into the atmosphere as she exited the car. However, the finest thing I noticed was how gracefully she handled the situation. Princess Catherine's Crimson Ensemble struggled while she was deplaning in New Zealand on the opening day of the royal three-week visit. The famous Marilyn Monroe moment from the Queen's previous Canadian tour plagued the Catherine Walker cloak as she walked down the flight of stairs. Notwithstanding Angela Kelly, the Queen's stylist, allegedly attempting to dress Catherine in something less girlish, all owing in part to the Queen. Then, she just had a single hand on that point to avert a royal tragedy. The second hand was inhabited by a tiny prince. Every other detail went off without a hitch, in the coordinating pillbox headgear by Gina Foster, and it remained on Catherine's head. While George was unaffected by the temperature or the attention, the initial items of jewels she took from the Queen will also be on display for royal observers. It's the diamond brooch, the nation of New Zealand's official sign, that Elizabeth received for Christmas in 1953. At the marriage ceremony of Princess Eugenie with Jack Brooksbank, Princess Catherine's demonstrated her professionalism while a powerful gust of wind threatened to show off Princess Catherine's undies to the rest of the world. Because it was a beautiful but windy day in the United Kingdom, a few changes were necessary to the marriage arrangements, but Catherine brushed all of them aside. According to reports, Princess Catherine was stunning in a wine-coloured Alexander McQueen-designed fitting dress, featuring a flaring skirt. The gust of wind that forced all of the bridesmaids and pageboys to lose their balance when they came to the cathedral steps and it fluttered Princess Catherine's gown. Eerily similar to the Marilyn Monroe iconic moment in the film The Itch, The Seven Years. Except for Sophie, who's the Countess of Wessex, who grinned. It seemed that nobody else noticed the amusing incident. When I published this piece on our corporate fashion blog, many fashion enthusiasts have commented. One person stated, Oh, I adore this moment so much. As a woman, I hope to have seen these moments in real life. There's nothing more embarrassing about being royal. We adore you for your fashion inspiration and lovely spirit. Another comment, wow, my daughter and I are amazed at how skillfully she handled the situation in India. It's quite difficult to deal with the circumstance when the wind is so fierce. You can tell she did a great and excellent moment. I believe she outperformed Marilyn Monroe. One person said, perfect women with lovely fashion sense. I love every outfit. And of course, I adore these unexpected occurrences. These are the most beautiful moments for a woman. Even if you're a princess with many traditional guidelines to follow, it's simply great. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think about Princess Catherine's Marilyn Monroe moments? Also, please share your comments and we'll say goodbye for the time being.